Today we will have a good look at the Heim Ruger number one. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Snapshots Corner. I'm Snapshot and we are situated in uh, Norway in the southeast area close to the Swedish border. Today we're going to talk about something I think is rather interesting. It's the Ruger number one and in specific today, today's video is all about uh, the Heim Ruger. The Ruger number one that's made by Heim in Sul in Germany. Uh, it's made by Friedrich Wilhelm Heim. I think I got the pronunciation as well. <laughs> um, it's chambered in uh, six and a half by 55 Swede, which is which is a very common caliber in uh, Northern Europe and especially uh, in uh, Scandinavian countries like Norway, Sweden, Finland, and of course Denmark. Uh, it has uh, very nice engravings on uh, the bridge block, and the wood to metal is impeccable. It's very nice. It has an octagon barrel, tapered, it's thinner in the front than in the back, and uh, it's topped with a size 3 to 9 by 36 scope, an older scope, but it's a very nice scope, clear glass, I can see. Um, my friend uh, owns this rifle and he always claims that he used this rifle for bad weather hunting and rainy days. <laughs> Well, that's the same for that, you know. I uh, probably will take out my 30 odd 6 Ruger number 1 in uh, bad weather as well, but you know, not uh, uh, specific rifle for bad weather. Before we go any further, I have to state and tell you all that uh, this Ruger number 1, as the US made Ruger number 1, that which is down here, they all both have dummy rounds in them. Uh, because I do not like to cause strain on the firing pin, especially not on a rifle that is on loan. This one is of course on loan from a friend of mine. A good friend of mine actually. So, uh, <laughs> but I can... It's, it's a bit funny that he states that it's, he always uses it in bad weather and rainy days. So, well, that's his choice. As I told you, 6.5 by 55 Swede. Uh, and this one do not have an ejector, it's an extractor, so uh, you can uh, save your brass for later, because uh, most of us uh, uh, who hunt with this caliber, they like to reload for it as well. It's the same caliber that you use in the Sauer uh, for competition shooting, and there is other rifles. Uh, in 6.5 by 55 it's very common up in the nor Northern Europe and Scandinavia. Um, it's a light handy package. Overall length is 41 inches, or uh, about 105 uh, centimeters, uh, depending on if you are metric or imperial. Um, when you load, load this, you open your breech and close the breech, and then you're ready to go. If you do not put it on safe, if you put it on safe, you can not open the breech as well. You have to unsafe it to open the breech. That's a little bit uh, odd uh, because it's a little bit different than the ordinary Ruger number one. I'll take some close-up pictures so you can, and I will post those on the, so you can see the nice engraving on the breech and the, and the nice wood and everything. Uh, and I'll also take some pictures of the calibers or the dummy rounds side by side so you can see the difference between 6.5 Swede and 30 on 6. If you compare the two rifles and put them on top of each other, you will see that the, the hello they say. <laughs> Uh, the Heimruger is a little bit longer, uh, it's about 8 centimeters longer, and, uh, but you know when I handle them and I, uh, when I point them, there is not uh, that much different in balance, I think actually, I don't think one is better than the other, they are both equal in uh, the balance. Let us just say that uh, either one of them is extremely good uh, uh, options for uh, a hunting rifle if you want to go for a single shot. Probably the best there is. Bold statement of course. But I think maybe uh, because the Heimrugge has probably a little bit more name to it and a little bit more prestige and uh, finesse uh, because of uh, the engraving and you know it's a Heim. Uh, Heim is uh, a name in Europe and in uh, 
single shots and double shot rifles. They make uh, double rifles. That is uh, especially good for uh, hunting in Africa, dangerous animals and dangerous game. Uh, single shot, if you can uh, reload, uh, uh, it's possible to reload a single shot uh, almost as fast as you can uh, work a uh, bolt action. And you know, the total length is uh, much shorter and much handier than a bolt action rifle because uh, you will take off about 4 to 5 inches because there is no bolt, there is no bolt receiver, it's just the falling block that goes for both of them, of course. So only this little part here, that is, uh, is the receiver area. And I like that uh, it's just an extractor and not an injector. Uh, my Ruge number one has a little bit of an injector to it, but I have uh, adjusted it so it will just, you know, pop it out so I can catch it. Because I also reload for my 30 odd six. The High Ruge has a classic blue wing on the barrel. It's a bit worn, but that just testifies to the rifle being used. Used a lot actually. Uh, not worn out, probably can't wear it out at all, I think. But it's a used rifle and my friend he used it, uses it for uh, moose, hunt, his moose hunting. I will sometime soon take this Heimrugge to the range and make a shooting video with it. But today it's too cold and uh, my dogs they actually like to uh, lay down by the wood stove and uh, keep warm. We have been out uh, in the woods uh, well, for about an hour today too with our two dogs. But uh, they like to like the inside when it's cold outside as we people perhaps do as well. Yeah, be sure to uh, check out my other video on the Ruge number one. It is a couple of years old, but it's a timeless video. Uh, and uh, it is my most viewed video on YouTube. Uh, I'll put that link and link to that video in the description below and in the end scene. And if you like classic firearms, hunting, shooting and black powder contents, Please subscribe to my channel, it will not cost you anything and uh, if you hit that bell you will get notified when new videos I put out. Finally please share with the like minded people and hit uh, that like button. Let us just say that if you can afford either one of these rifles, the Heim Ruger number one or the US made Ruger number one you are in for a quality firearm for hunting. Uh, of course the Heimruge, this one, is a bit more expensive than the other one and it comes probably with a little bit more prestige and finesse. Uh, of course it has this engraved uh, uh, falling block or receiver and uh, it's a little bit darker wood and you know you have this uh, uh, Roman nose uh, typical European uh, buttstock that gives you a really good cheek weld and contact its perfect height. The American Ruger is a bit more straight and uh, not as uh, pleasing to the cheek as the Heim Ruger. Heim is of course very well known for their attention to detail on their firearms. That goes for everything that they put out on the market. And uh, the same goes for this one, it's uh, very nice engraved and the details in the checkering is very nice. Same checkering on the pistol grip that is on the forehand and uh, it's overall a very nice rifle. And I cannot wait to get to the range to shoot it and please uh, check that video uh, when I do that uh, pretty soon I think. You see this uh, Heim Ruger number one, it's an awesome rifle and if you like, like me, like classical firearms or classic firearms, black powder shooting and black powder firearms, please subscribe to my channel and uh, make sure to like and hit that bell.
then you will get notified when you get uh, upcoming videos. That's a good uh, looking rifle. That's a beautiful looking rifle and you can see the blue ring is a little bit worn but uh, that just testified to the rifle being used for hunting. My friend has shot several moose with this rifle. And you see the stock is a little bit different than the, on the American one. Thank you all so much for watching my video and uh, as always in real life or at the shooting range always always shoot straight that's the most important thing translated that means always be honest